And people have been asking me what I meant by when I said he did not like answering questions or being held to account from people like me. And so some people took it to mean a racial thing. I meant oh, someone who has a different worldview. But since people raised it and you said what you said, do you think that he was uncomfortable? I didn't want to go there. Do you think he was uncomfortable mm-hmm. sitting in front of a gay black guy? Probably more gay than black, I would think. I hate to say that, but um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't I mean, know. I think he didn't like, answer questions from. Some... I don't think he likes control beyond himself. And okay. so it doesn't matter who's exerting it. I don't think he much likes Joe Biden. Don Lemon's commentary delves into Elon Musk's perceived discomfort during the interview, suggesting it may stem from his identity as both gay and black. Lemon's analysis hints at potential divisiveness and controversy insinuating that Musk's unease with individuals of diverse racial and sexual orientations could exacerbate tensions based on identity. Lemon's critique underscores a prevalent trend in public discourse where actions and motivations are often attributed solely to identity categories, neglecting other pertinent factors. Viewing Lemon's remarks through this lens reveals the pervasive influence of identity politics on interpersonal dynamics highlighting the importance of nuanced and respectful dialogue that transcends simplistic identity-based assumptions.